All right, everyone, it is that time of week, month, whatever it is. <laughs> and uh, it is 2x summon times. That is what time it is. And we have quite a few summons. Now, I have just been accumulating summons by doing all the different campaign stuff over the past like couple weeks since last time I've done a couple summons. Well, the last summon video, I thought I was going to do a lot of summons, but if you didn't see that, well, I didn't have to do a lot of summons. <laughs> and uh, well, that means that today we are going to get potentially two different legendaries now i don't want to use my diamonds so we're not going to use the diamonds unless we don't get a legendary within 140 plus eight legendary summons there's got to be at least two legendaries here if not three legendaries right because we have a 2x chance for legendaries on the legendary summons which means that we have a 12 percent chance so we're pretty averagely likely to get a legendary here and then it's the one percent drop here so we should get at least two maybe three if we're lucky uh legendaries today so we're gonna dive in and start summoning there's not anyone that i'm looking in particular except for maybe hatsit or maybe one of the lords that i don't have those two are great like twin fiend would be ooh, 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 would be so good <laughs> um but uh, other than that i mean we have uh, a bunch of characters in the lord category salazar i guess is someone that i might be interested in um after that well nocturne maybe i don't know some characters that i'm just kind of interested in more so than like extremely good for my account because i have really really good ones so let's start off here 10 pull let me know in the comment section down below how many legendaries you think i'm gonna get and uh, if you're right let me know as well <laughs> uh come back and edit the comment again so got an autumn here i've been keeping my autumn copies recently um just because well i think she's actually a really really good rare and she's even good for people that might have a pretty stacked account i feel like you could still get some use out of her so she's someone i've been keeping but you know another rare i mean we're not looking for rares today guys <laughs> triple rare tax to start us off that is probably some of the worst summons i've ever done you know i mean that's not that's not very good what are the chances on epics they're like what eight percent yeah eight percent we'd have 37 so we didn't get in a single epic Jeez. okay um okay there we go in terms of epics really would like another vortex copy so i could start the fusion um damon Ooh. now damon is someone i actually did want now okay someone told me that if i go to the twitter one okay well i can't do the twitter uh, i was saying some people that they if you click on twitter it would work but i guess it's not connected so we're not even gonna bother with that today but damon okay pretty excited about this he's a pretty good fighter um he goes ahead and kind of really really good to revive over and over again makes it really really cheap and of course he got some stuns but i've just been pretty impressed with damon i like damon a little bit here we go what's up next another epic okay okay Nazim. Nazim. Uh, he's new. I'll take it. Damage. We have a magic blade. The inflict slow. And then stun. Stores HP. Oh. That's interesting. So he's a mage slash healer with the cursed blade. You're going to be able to heal people. That's actually kind of cool. That's actually really, really interesting. Huh. I wonder if he's actually one of the best options to kind of pull in for some of the raids just because of him being able to deal damage and heal at the same time. I'm a little bit more interested in that guy. I've not heard anybody talk about him, so I, I was not familiar with this kit, but I actually think that maybe some people are underrating him just because, you know, he isn't like an insane DPS or anything. Maul copy, light lock copy. Very happy with both of those. That's going to be another um, awaken for my ball, which is quite nice. Ooh, here we go. Another epic. Pretty, pretty good. We did get a couple double epic pulls. We're making it, making uh, our headway through uh, our terrible pulls early. <laughs> a siren. Eh, a siren's not bad. Um, he's definitely solid for um, uh, gear raid one. Which i've been pretty impressed with so or i guess you say which is kind of what i'm leaning towards right now what do we got here rare tax oh man another rare tax geez 
all right let's just let's just skip the i, I don't want to see the rare attacks anymore oh man okay hold on so i can't increase the hero capacity anymore so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to promote some characters here so not too bad we man this is the perfect time because we have a what's it called a um uh promotion event going on where you have to start up characters and, and and level them up but man i'm really really hoping that we're gonna be able to get something something fantastic here let's go back and start pulling again that we should have plenty of space now i'm really hoping for a vortex copy or just a solid legendary come on we could do it we could do it we can do it dimos is another one that i really would like to pick up we got damon who i think i could get some use out of potentially um but dimos is the one that uh, i think out of the epics i'm most excited about besides vortex i would like to fuse abomination as off i have like a million of that guy geez dimos is kind of nuts for um guild boss which is what i'm looking for come on what do we got here double epic we got aeon Ooh, she is a lord i don't know if i've ever heard anyone would talk about aeon um she is a mage so she could be good for gear raid one potentially magic damage we have getting damage per second to affect the targets pulls up eight surrounding enemies Ooh, base attacks and death vortex inflict vulnerability wow increases faction allies damage dealt to enemies with stun freeze immobilize wow interesting interesting character here definitely seems interesting for gear raid one i'm kind of curious to see maybe she's worthwhile to build you can see basic attack target count so you're dealing damage and then you're hitting three people i mean not bad honestly definitely someone i would consider building out and we still have yet to get a single legendary here so we are pretty unlucky so far but that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes what other epic did we got here to zero okay Let's pull in some of our free stuff. We get four more summon crystals. Let's do another 10 pull. And before I start pulling diamonds, I mean, oh, rare tax as well. Wow. I can't believe we just went all that, all those summons without getting a single legendary. That is pretty unlucky so far. So uh, are we going to follow up our luckiest summons with our most unlucky summons? I guess we'll have to see here. Eight of our legendary crystals starting off with an Azim. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I am excited to try him out, so maybe he's going to be super solid. I don't know. We'll see. Gluttony. Mm, okay, I already have a copy of him. I'm not super impressed with Gluttony. So, come on, come on. Give us a legendary. Oh, my goodness. Are we not going to get legendary? Laurel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Laurel is actually kind of interesting, but yeah, probably not going to be building her anytime soon. <laughs> what do we got here, guys? Come on, give us a legendary. Another Damon. Okay, we got a Damon. We wanted a Dimos. I, I mean, Laurel is pretty good actually for Gear Raid One as well. So maybe, uh, maybe we consider building it. There's it is. There it is. There's a legendary. Okay, okay. Who do we get? Who do we get? A, a dupe of Cerberus. We have been getting so many dupes lately with all of our pulls. So another Cerberus copy. How many legendaries do we have the potential to acquire? I mean, we have what? uh four three six twenty six there plus eight here so we have a total of 34 i mean these are very very rare so like more like um 26 in total and we've pulled multiple dupes um in terms of our legendary pool so we pulled nine ten unique ones uh or uh, nine unique ones and then we've pulled one two three four five dupes i don't know it's not super unlucky but what does the awaken for Cerberus give? Within 10 seconds, all ground air effect areas will slow. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. We're going to keep going, though. We're going to keep pulling a couple of our legendary summons. But wow. Um, pretty unfortunate that we got a Cerberus copy. Uh, I, I'm not super excited about that because I think that Cerberus kind of fulfills the role. Without that awaken, like you don't need that awaken to really benefit a ton. So another RDF. <clears throat> I think that's my third one what can we get here at the end Ooh, ooh! there we go there's our second legendary okay here we go here we go azure ooh ooh i don't i don't know if i remember exactly what he does so he's got he's a defense-based damage dealer 
um and his basic goes ahead and deals damage to one enemy builds up energy after 10 strikes he's going to enter the heated state uh, and then you can see here is passive each attack increases defense gains extra 10 percent defense in the heated state when tempering strikes is active which is the ultimate um every strike will apply a buff to one random ally based on the current status of the hammer normal state applies shield heated state applies the normal state buff and damage increase Ooh, each strike causes damage up to five enemies in front of the caster when the skill is active when the skill ends removes the hammer's heated state huh interesting each strike causes two up to five enemies in front of the caster when the skill is activated okay so you activate it and then you get heated state i'm guessing i'm not quite sure what happens there interesting character huh i wonder if he's good for a gear raid one actually that's kind of where i'm thinking but if he's physical damage i mean he has yeah i mean i doubt he's gonna be good for gear raid one um i'm not convinced about this guy i don't know if he's very good he seems interesting defense-based damage dealers are always interesting but i'm just not super interested i don't think in this guy he could be decent for artifact raid so maybe i'll have to look out there is it oh my goodness we did back to back to back legendaries right oh my, and we got abomination <laughs> oh my i guess i don't need that vortex anymore <laughs> wow okay so that's a pretty unlucky pull i would say um because you can fuse him but honestly i'm not i'm not too bad about that um so we have a fighter here he's very very strong he's got uh deals damage with a chance of triggering a charge attack which deals all aoe then we have the passive here for every three instances he's going to permanently increase his attack speed and damage stacking up to 10 times so in those longer fights right you're going to get potentially 60 attack speed increase and 30 percent damage increase and you could even increase that even further right so you can get um 10 attack speed per and one percent damage so up to 100 attack speed and 40 percent damage and then when he drops below 40 percent he's going to gain a vulnerability restores hp and he can only trigger this once every 55 seconds but this doesn't really matter because usually you're only going to proc it every once in a while can be very very good in a lot of situations like gear raid 2 can be good in artifact raid uh and then the ultimate here triggers automatically for 25 seconds increases max hp extends attack range reduces physical damage taken attacks all enemies in range and inflicting burning this effect will become permanent after tr being triggered two times this is insane getting a massive hp boost and a physical damage uh decrease is absolutely disgusting so very very happy to have him he's gonna be excellent in gear raid 2 um and in the artifact raid i'm imagining um or i've seen him be decent in there and i'm gonna be running him myself so yep very very happy with him even though it is kind of unlucky because you can use him <laughs> but as i said i kind of wanted to, to pick up a um vortex i guess we got our daemon so we could have potentially fused him if we picked up our vortex so you know maybe we'll continue to fuse him because we could get a lot of enhancements for him and that could be interesting so all in all not too bad not too bad um pulled a couple of unique legendaries azure and abomination and then we've managed to pull a dupe cerberus so we did get our three legendaries and we actually ended up a little bit lucky um we started off terribly and then we moved into like okay we we're bringing our epics back and then at the end there in the last four legendary summons we managed to get three legendaries wow pretty impressive so happy about that one let me know what your polls have been like in the um event here what are we at at this point so we didn't we're not in the ultimate leaderboard i don't really care about that though so we ended up second place and we did max out this so pretty good rewards here um I would love to get first place you know get the legendary skill crystal but i don't think i'm gonna spend any money and i'm not interested in spending money um to summon anymore i don't think so pretty solid happy about them and uh well we have a lot of things to improve on now so that's gonna be the goals starting for the next couple days and well hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like on the video sub to the channel and i'll see you all for the next one <laughs>